guys, welcome to Repurpose My Way. I'm Shelly, glad you could be here. So today we're gonna talk about staging. I had a comment on one of my videos about staging. It's all in the staging and almost none of it is talked about or shown in the video. Those extra details do count in making your Traster treasures look more like treasures. And I think she has a point. We don't really talk about that. We make the project, show you how to do it, and then we set it up and we don't really show how we put the staging together. But I'm going to show you how I do it. Definitely not probably how everybody does it. But this is how I do it. So I'm just going to show you a little bit of, of that. So we're going to start with, you need a flat surface, of course. Now this piece of paper here that I have is actually wallpaper. So I use this as my, my, my base to wherever I'm going to, whatever I'm going to take pictures of typically. This is a fairly blank wall. It does have stuff up above, but most stuff that I take pictures of is from here down. So I don't really worry too much about that. And if it gets in the picture, it's fine. So you need kind of a light blank wall. Sometimes if you have something that's dark colored, having the white wall or a lighter colored wall behind it makes it pop so that you can see it a little better. And then you can add stuff in around it to kind of focus in on that product. If you have a lighter colored item, take something a little bit darker or with some darker colors and put those in around it. Same thing, it kind of makes that pop and uh, helps bring it out. So that's just to start. A lighter colored wall, a flat surface, and something nice to see. Now I don't always want this color to go with whatever items I have. Most of them will fit because I do primitive farmhouse stuff. But um, I don't always want to use this. Sometimes I want to use a little something for a little fancier or nicer decor. So I use this. And so walking in Hobby Lobby one day, I saw this really beautiful placemat and it's all lace and I just love it. I think it's gorgeous. And so I said, I really want one of these to put down so that when I have a really more dainty item that I want to show or something that's darker colored that I want to pop, I can use this to do that with. And then I put that right down and then I can put my item down on top of that as well. Now I may have, in some of my other pictures and videos, these placemats as well. These are more of a primitive rustic decor. So if I put that down and then put something on top of it, that'll make it pop as well. So today I'm working on a project that was kind of a misfire. Didn't really work very well. When I looked up on um, YouTube videos about, um, you know, setting up your displays or or however you want to put it or or showcasing something in your house it was more for displaying in like a, on a craft store or you know having a craft fair or a table um, not really a lot about how you come up with ways to design or to set up something in your home to make it look good uh, a lot of us creators will make things and we'll show the end result. You know, we'll show you how we do it and we'll show the end result, but we don't show you how we put it together. Um, so I'm just going to go over a few tips that I use because I'm definitely not a professional, but I'm going to go over um, a few tips that I use to create my vignettes or my uh, setups when I get ready to take pictures. So one of the tips I use or I heard a long time ago was uh, to shop your home because the things that are in your home are things that you love already or they wouldn't be there. So uh, try to reimagine things in your home that you, you know, in a different spot that you love. Some people I don't think think out of the box and realize that they can paint or uh, you know not even hand paint but spray paint um, refresh items things that have bouquets in them and maybe you're not into what the bouquet is anymore you used to like roses you don't like roses anymore you want to try something different um, take it out take it out buy some new flowers whatever you'd like put lilacs in there or, or whatever and use that so change it up, 
replace items, um, give items a refresh to make them look, um, you know, have the same bones to it that you really like, but just give it a little something different. Tastes change and people decide they don't like certain things anymore. So Pinterest is your friend. It's my friend. It can be your friend. If you haven't checked out Pinterest, I think it's a wonderful, wonderful uh, website that you can check out. Uh, it gives you a place to search for items and it brings up all these wonderful ideas from all over the world that people have on how to decorate and to do different things with these items. I use Pinterest a lot. I try very, very hard not to totally copy things, but I'll take something from this picture that I like, maybe the color of the shutter, and I'll take something from this picture that I like, maybe the shape of, say, a snowman, perhaps, and uh, how his hat may be tilted one way in another picture, how his nose is made another way in another picture, um, and the colors of his scarf, or whatever, and it gives me these different ideas of things that I can do. So it's just an idea, um, and if, if you're kind of stuck, which happens, it happens to me a lot, um, if you're kind of stuck, search around on Pinterest and see what you can find. Do that, that little push to go over the edge and find your most beautiful piece that you've ever done. So decorating your home doesn't have to be uh, expensive or hard um, and putting together a vignette for your house that pleases you um, doesn't have to be hard either keep it simple uh, is the best thing to do now if you're gonna do something to decorate for a booth that you have to sell items Think about where somebody might want to use that item. Is that something that they'll use maybe in a bathroom or in the kitchen or even in the bedroom, wherever? Um, think about where they might use that and set it up that way and just keep it very simple so that they can envision it as well. So as you can see, shopping your home, it's really easy because the stuff in your home is stuff that you love already. So I mixed kind of a farmhouse vibe with a primitive rustic vibe, which is both of my loves. I love all of that. And of course, chickens. So just bring it all together the way you would want. So shop your home. You can't go wrong that way. It's everything that you love. And then if you don't like something or you've changed your style and color or just style in general from say farmhouse to primitive or primitive to rustic, you can make it work. A little paint, a little sanding, change out those flowers or your greenery and freshen it up and you'll find that you have something new in your home without spending very much money. So I hope this inspires you to come up with ideas of new ideas of decorating your home. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed some of these tips that I gave you and be inspired, be creative and think outside the box. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe and have a great day.